Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite models, okay, in terms of ergonomics and blade shape and how it looks and everything and that's the Emerson Tiger. In this case we're looking at two custom Tigers, okay, one have that classic look from Ernest Emerson, the other one I did uh, change to the Micartas, but we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I still own the green micarta from this model as well. And how you know it's a custom, right? You look at that logo, right? Emerson Spec War Knives will tell us that this is a custom knife, right? And in this case as well, Emerson Spec War Knives. And, you know, I'm going to show you the custom models. And when we're talking about custom, we are referring to a knife that Ernest Emerson himself hand ground the blade and handmade the the shape of the micarta and and the bolsters and all that you know the whole knife handmade knife hand grounded blade across the board but this model can be found and is excellent as well as a production model by Emerson knives okay and he's also you know great great quality okay but let's talk about this custom let me remove my i heavily use this one so let me remove that one and show you this one that is not heavily carry and you should know that by how that my car that looks right pretty new it looks like it has never been carried and that's the case okay this this one usually stay i carried a few times when this guy was in canada but but not that much okay let's compare this guy with the classic cqc 7b i love the cqc 7 okay this tiger has one of those perfect uh how you say uh blade length and and an overall length for me you know it has a 3.8 blade length okay and almost everything is a cutting edge right and overall length is nine inches perfect okay and that's how it compares to the cqc 7b let's compare it with the spider co tenacious right here the tenacious we know is not a huge you know it's not a big blade but it's one of those blades that everybody should own okay it's one of those classics right tenacious by spider co and of course usa made we cannot talk about USA Made without showing the Buck 110. And I own others, Buck 110s, so I need, to, I need to remind myself to start, you know, putting out some of those custom Buck 110s I have and I own. But you can see that's how it looks with against the Buck 110. So definitely a big knife. I consider the Buck 110 a big knife. And now, let's talk about the tire. First, that blade. It's one of the one of those designs that I just I just love it okay I love the design you have that switch right here and then that hand ground V grind shape on it right and V grind means it's been hand ground on this side as well as of course that size there with that chisel edge and this thing is sharp as hell okay so be careful with that you have your thumb stud and of course in this in this model we have the classic emerson wave and it works really good in this model then the handle construction you have that finger guard that works excellent and also this rear guard and at the beginning when i was getting familiarized with this model i was a little bit concerned that it was not going to fit me but it actually works excellent you can see if almost you know almost there for me is great if you have some extra extra large hands you might want to go with another model called the csf okay that have the same blade with a roadhouse handle and the roadhouse handle for me is my favorite okay one of my favorite handles top top three right there and this one is also in the top three. I love the handle of the tire. Okay. Ergonomics. Again, this mainly is a fighting knife. So ergonomics, you know, are on point, right? This is 
Ernie's main, main, you know, mission, right? It's a great fighting blade. And this blade, not only is a great fighting blade like the Persian, but unlike the Persian, that you cannot use it that much for utilitarian tasks, really. It's mostly just a fighting knife. This blade shape is great for utility stuff, you know? You can handle anything with it. It feels great. You know, you see that center, the, the tip, and these are very, are basically aligned right there in the center. So when you're handling that blade, that cutting edge is basically reaching that point as soon as you're reaching the material that you want to cut. So it's a great, not only fight blade, but utility blade that I love. Okay. And again, one of my favorite, favorite models, the Tiger. And I use it a lot. Let me show you how it looks close. Great profile. Man, it's just badass. You know, it's just great, great profile. Now, let me show you. So I know this guy called Daniel or Kales, right? I'll put his information in it. And I was telling him, hey, I use this Tiger a lot. It's one of my main carries when I want to carry a knife without thinking too much about it. And what I wanted to do was like, hey, can we also create, can you create some black micarta handles for it? So I sent this knife to him. And we, we did a double black, I think it's called, micarta handle. So it's a really thick, you know, black, you know, handles. And it's just beautiful work on it. Okay, beautiful work. And let me tell you, this is a custom, right? So it's like, dude, can you work on a custom and make these changes? And he did it excellent. You can see it's all contour, and you can see there. And I still own the Green Micarta handles, of course. Look at that finish, you know, just match it perfectly. Those angles on how they fit with the bolster is just great, okay? And this one is my one of my main carries. So I use it a lot and it will be more scratch. The blade looks excellent still. And again, when I'm talking about primary carry, it's that knife that I use as an emergency knife. It doesn't mean it's the knife I'm always taking out to cut stuff. I have a secondary knife that I also carry and that one is the one that will take most of the beating when I need a knife or if I need to hand a knife to it. You can see that blade looks great. Again, he did an excellent job. He even beat blasted uh, some of my scratches to it. In this knife, I have the fancy Steel Flame Tiger. Of course, it's a Tiger model. We need to have some fancy, you know, Steel Flame pocket clip, right? And that's the Tiger Steel Flame pocket clip. I love it. You have that type of finish there. And I also have this different thumb stud, okay, that you can see that Damascus thumb stud on this one. And again, at the end of the day, is one of my favorite models to carry. Let me show you how it rides in the pockets. Real quick, where are my sample jeans? Going to show you with the normal clip and it's just great i love this type of pocket carry profile because i have enough purchase to reach to the blade and of course if i don't want to wave it you go like that like we discuss pretty often with other models let's look how it will look with a deep carry pocket okay for those that prefer that type of carry method that will be the profile right there where my fingers are so it will kind of disappear and just show that little bit of, of, of my car down there. And again, highly, highly recommend the work that Mr. Kales did on my custom Tiger. And again, I own the green micarta and it's just, you know, just like a piece of cloth. You know, if I want to change to green micarta, pretty quick, right? Just change this, change this, back to business. And when I want the black look, just do it like that. And again, excellent blade, 
one of my favorite, the Tiger by Emerson, okay? If you have any question, feel free to contact me through Instagram, YouTube comments, and you know, Facebook group, the Emerson Operators, okay? Or ECOC, and we're always there talking knives and having a blast, okay? You guys take care of yourself. Have a good one. Bye.